the, uh, the film array instruments and the, the technology has uh, changed an awful lot of the ways we're approaching infectious diseases across the board, both from a clinical perspective as well as uh, here in the laboratory. And it represents, in many respects, the first uh, step to doing rapid microbiology testing. Uh, rather than relying on cultures that take a day or two, we're now able, in an hour, to report many of the pathogens uh, that uh, affect the children that come to our hospital. So it's been, a, it's been a game changer in many respects. The most important qualities of the BioFire system is accuracy. Uh, without accuracy, it really has no value for us at all. After accuracy, then the speed. You're just getting a, uh, uh, results quickly. Uh, we've had lots of experience of patients in the emergency room uh, getting results back while they're still in the emergency room, uh, allowing the physicians to make a much more informed decision on, on what, what, what to do with the patient, whether to discharge the patient or admit them to the hospital. Uh, but uh, establishing both accuracy and, and speed has been very important for us. We've been using the respiratory panel for, for two flu seasons now. We started in the middle of the last flu season, and it is used frequently. Even now, we're seeing an awful lot of use in September, uh, detecting a, a lot of rhinovirus and enterovirus. It's been very good for any kind of respiratory infections we have, helping to diagnose and to classify it is a broader spectrum of detection than anything we have had prior to that, and we have found it to be very accurate. We've been using the meningitis encephalitis panel for a little over a year now. Uh, our experience with it has been very positive. We, we have two instances of uh, patients in the emergency room with bacterial meningitis. One was a uh, under five years old, uh, a little girl that had Neisseria meningitidis uh, in her spinal fluid. Another was a case of strep pneumo uh, in another patient. The uh, patient results were reported while the patients were still in the emergency room. The little girl with Neisseria meningitidis was put on the right antibiotic right away. She was discharged three days later. Neisseria meningitidis can have very serious and, and lifelong consequences. When you can get that result quickly, as a laboratory professional, you feel like you've done your job well that day. So it's a very rewarding kind of experience. We found with the ME panel that not only the positive results are significant, but sometimes the negative results are also significant. Many patients that have encephalitis or meningitis with HSV and the differential diagnosis will be started on acyclovir until that result comes back negative or they've proven the patient doesn't have HSV. The meningitis encephalitis panel gives you the ability to make that determination quickly. Uh, if it detects another target and you get herpes negative, you've got very good evidence that patient is not on, you know, does not need acyclovir, uh, which, is a, which is a very good thing. It's not a drug you want unnecessarily.